I bought $1,000 worth of ChatGPT prompts, so you don't have to. And I'll be going through all of them, starting on $199, going to the most expensive ones. ChatGPT is considered the most advanced AI language model, but at the end of the day, it's just an empty chat. If you ask a mediocre question, it will give you mediocre results, but if you ask a high-crafted question, it can replace repetitive tasks of humans in seconds. So today I'm on a quest to find out how good or bad are the prompts out there. By the way, this video is not sponsored, so consider subscribing. 10 subs from this video with results in $100 per subscriber. So I might as well just take $100 and give it to people on the street asking them to subscribe. I'll regret it so much. Let's go. I'll be buying prompts from this website right here. It is the only marketplace for AI prompts that I found, and it has probably thousands of prompts, even more. We are really going to focus on ChatGPT. Then we have categories, and then we can just browse the prompts. If you click on top, we have more options. The past month, past week, past 24 hours. And if you click all time, you can see that here is the rating. Uh, we will focus on this top, and we will try to buy these best rated so let's go right now for our first prompt we will go to my account and we will actually check of those that i've already bought so this email generator was just a huge mistake it didn't look that crazily simple this prompt create me an email with this template make a beginning of the email and then middle and then the end and that's it so this was obviously a huge mistake this prompt cost just $1.99. While I can't actually share with you the exact prompt, I will try to present you a better way how to structure this prompt as we will graduate in a more and more expensive prompt. I believe that we will get to some more interesting pearls. So definitely stay for that. So here you can see the results that I got with this. This is incredible long email. You don't want something like that for cold email. Also check this subject. This is so silly, this is so pushy. This would never succeed as a cold email. This would be probably even marked as a spam. So instead, I am showing you right now the prompt that I would use. And I wrote this prompt just in less than a minute. If I would try to create a professional prompt, I would do something more complex. But as a copywriter, write me a short but attention grabbing cold email to promote my service. Uh, in the name for the website. So here, what I'm focusing is to explain uh, what I'm actually writing, that it's a cold email. ChatGPT can access the database of cold emails. Uh, it should have attention grabbing subjects. So I would even change right now the prompt a little bit. More of an expert you are in the industry that you are writing prompt for, the better. Here's a crazy one. Okay, so this is a Dr. GPT. <laughs> so basically it's introducing your personal virtual GP. <laughs> you get access to medical advice anytime, anywhere. And the problem is that it's just using the actor. Basically, you could rewrite this prompt like this, uh, act like a doctor and do a diagnose. That's it. And it doesn't go through the specific process or like the framework or anything. So it's just a completely useless prompt. Uh, we'll go to more interesting right now, which is one click course creator. Thing is, the prompt is looking pretty good. I cannot again go to the details. So here is the result of this prompt. And what I really like about this prompt that it's giving a structure. So you can see a course description, then there is a module. There's a lesson plan, learning objectives, uh, real world example, activities, discussion questions, ways to expand learning, engaging video script, and then module two. What I don't like about it, however, is how long are each of the paragraphs. The problem lies with the prompt. It doesn't really ask for the length of each module. And that's why we will see an extremely, extremely short part one. If you would basically ask to write a structure for the course, this would be one way to do it, but definitely it's not creating from now a complete course, but you can always play with it and say, Let, let's explore this, let's expand this. But at the end of the day, I would rate it probably three or four out of five. It's not bad, but it's just not ready yet. Now let's get to the next prompt I bought and which was SEO website structure. And something what is used with this prompt is chain prompting, which means that you are trying to not get answer with only one prompt, but you are actually asked uh, several other questions to get the ultimate result. That's not really what I love. 
I love one-off prompts. The reason why is because if you are doing the task repetitively, you don't really want to chat with ChatGPT. You don't want to specify more and more and more, right? So the beauty in great, really great prompt is to have one-off prompt. The problem with that is you don't want to have too long ChatGPT prompt because as longer the prompt, the less likely ChatGPT will listen all your instructions. So what you basically want to do is to keep it as short as possible, but at the same time as instructive and as uh, demanding as possible. Uh, let's see what the results we were able to get. So this is the input to this prompt, cleaning business B2B, business get new customers. So we can see that the website structure is uh, home about us services and then what you get inside is also title text and meta description well and this is a huge mistake uh, this prompt is focusing on the website structure but in reality it's trying to do also title tags and meta descriptions i have a problems that uh, it is crossing too many areas and it's trying to solve too many things at once i definitely don't have a problem to first create a web structure and then create title tags and meta description another prompt i was curious about was this youtube to course one click creator it's going to create a course from a youtube that sounds good enough when i started to read the description of this prompt I thought is you would go and you would use your own videos but no 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 you go to your competitors videos because they have better videos and uh you basically create a course from your competitor video. Anyway, I tested on my own video. The results were pretty awful. So the biggest problem is that uh, what they are not saying is, so it shouldn't be automatic generated subtitles. And the reason why is it didn't really understand me. Welcome to the Check App app. In this video, we will learn how to use Check App PT language model developed by OpenAI. You will find out what is Jeb Check App which I personally I'm curious as well let's right now do completely different process we will buy everything from the top down so we will start with this $2.99 ChatGPT prompt generator I will not buy this oh but it has a 4.8 stars here's how this will go okay it will be terrible all right what do we have so act as a prompt generator of course um that's what I was expecting. Okay, this is better than I thought. We will try this prompt. And what I want to do is I want to rephrase some of these prompts that we bought earlier. And we'll see if this actually can create a better result than the prompt that we actually bought. So uh, here is the result of this prompt. Imagine you are an experienced marketer who've been tasked with reaching out to potential clients via cold emails. Wow, actually, actually, this is not bad. I still think a professional uh, cold email specialist or sales manager would create a better prompt for ChatGPT. Like it, it is probably better prompt that I would uh, get from most of these uh, prompts from this website. Definitely pretty cool. By the way, if you keep wondering if only there would be prompts high quality and at one place, well, I'm glad you asked because that's exactly what I'm building. I am putting together 24 prompts that are 90% replacing copywriters and building even more AI replacing bundles like marketing, SEO, PPC, HR, and more that are saving me thousands of dollars per month. And it can save you as well if you are entrepreneur, small business, mid-science business, or if you are just trying to build your personal brand. If you want to find out more, go to michalmigush.com and find out more. I'm also giving away free prompt every 48 hours and one is free right now, so go and check that out. All right, write the ebook at the light speed. This is actually interesting because I personally spend a lot of time tweaking an ebook prompt. So let's just read the reviews. Uh, does the job, great one, great, great. Pretty good reviews. So, whoo, wow. So what I like about this prompt, it's not easy and very simple prompt. It is uh, giving you a structure. What I don't like about this prompt, and I think I have much more powerful prompt, let me give you an actual prompt for an ebook. 30,000 words ebook. We'll go here to my website for Ultimate Copywriter. Uh, we will go here to the ebook. And this will be hidden for you uh, because I don't share it uh, for free. But I do, every 48 hours, I do one high quality prompt uh, for free. And it's definitely worth more than 3.99. We'll do a new chat. Uh, we'll insert this and then you need to give it a topic. Let's say 
a how to start a coffee shop. All right. And it starts to give you a book title, chapter titles, and then it starts to write to you each chapter one by one. And the thing is, uh, the results of ChatGPT kept by 2000 words. And that's why this prompt is using marking beginning and end. So if you know that it's not at the end, you can basically just write continue and it will continue writing. So while it looks simple, the prompt was actually extremely hard. You see, we are going so long that the lights are actually lightning off. Okay, here, SEO block post generator. I'm curious about this one. I have a really, really good prompt that I think is above all I've seen and I've seen a lot, you know, for the sake of testing and making sure that I have the best. There are so many requests that are unnecessary, which is all making ChatGPT consider it, but at the end, how to start a coffee shop. Okay, so here's the mistake. Here's the mistake. Uh, the author specified that he want a text not a blog post. L look at this article. Look at this, how it sucks. Chapter one, title, and then a short description. Title, short description. It's so short, there is no value in any of this paragraph. We'll go to my website, which is much shorter. Let me show you this prompt, and we will do the same. Uh, how to start a, start a coffee shop. All right, this is the result of extremely good article. Yeah, $5, uh, basically wasted. Look, it's hard, it's, it's really, it's really art. It's really art to, and it's really crafting to create a great prompt. Okay, what's next? Here's a resignation letter of Brighter Pro. So for $10, you will know how to resignate. All right, we have our winner. I am going to buy this creating business plan for $29.99. It has one review. It has 15 hearts. Ah, that's expensive. The results are... What? It's like a 10 page long. This is like 10 pages of example or description of your company. And then at the end, it's like saying like, when you know about this company, what would you recommend to do from here? This is basically what this prompt does, okay? I'll take 20 hours to describe my company and then what they did was to put at the end, do you have any recommendations? <laughs> Absolutely terrible, nothing specific, extremely generic. So overall, how I would actually rate this? I did find some good prompts and actually for a good price. As higher I went, I felt most of the times that the quality went down. You're still buying a closed box and that's why I did this video. And this is a no recommendation or uh, discourage to go on this website and buy something. I'll post more AI content soon. And if you liked this video, then you will love this video where I share the AI prompts that I crafted in a weeks of work. This video is much better than this one.